Do you ever feel like who you think you are and who you actually are don't match up? I had a conversation with one of my younger sisters recently and she's in her mid twenties. And it's really interesting because she's in this place where she's trying to navigate what womanhood means for her at this stage, while also letting go of the girl she grew up to know herself to be. It's funny how we go through these cycles of evolution as women. And for me, most recently, the biggest turning points have been when I've had my babies. Being a mom of four with one on the way, I'm anticipating this new me that I'll be meeting really soon. There's not enough conversations about the tension between who we were, who we are, and who we are becoming as women. We live such complex lives that while so much can be happening externally, we ignore the internal or spiritual change that also is occurring. The fact is, many of us feel so out of control that we resort to leaning on things that we can control and holding on to those things, whether they're titles or roles, that bring us comfort simply because we know that version of who we are. We're scared to embrace the fact that change is inevitable and something that actually works in our favor. It's true when the Bible says that there is nothing new under the sun. That means as women, we have to be a lot more vocal and honest about what we're going through, what we've been through, because we have a lot more in common that's worth sharing than we think. The enemy will try to make us feel like we're isolated in the different ebbs and flows of life that we go through, but that's simply not true. Now, as the oldest sister in my family, I've naturally taken on the big sis role in many of my female relationships most recently, and I feel comfortable there. I definitely feel like it is accurate to where I am in my life right now. Mama Jade, big sis Jade feels very on point with who I am today. But it's funny because I remember when my nickname in college was Lil Jade and everyone called me Lil Jade because I just fit that little sister role to so many people. I remember feeling like I actually belonged when I got that nickname. But as I got older and started to be a real adult, that name no longer fit me. And it kind of made me cringe at times because it felt like it actually boxed me in and it was hard for me to break out of that. It was one of the first times that I realized that the way I would cope with feeling alone or rejected was to run at any opportunity to be joined to a group of people. I went through seasons of trying to fit in so much, whether that was in middle school, high school, college, etc that I genuinely got to a point where I did not know who I was. I had spent all this time growing up, trying to fit in, to then becoming a mom and a wife where I had no idea how to be that person. I didn't know who that Jade was. And I was being called into roles that I had not worked towards internally or spiritually. I was so focused on building up my name as an influencer, content creator, and succeeding in that in many ways. But when it came down to my personal walking journey, I had not paid attention to it much. And it really hit me in the face when I became a mom and a wife. I realized that I had to relearn who I was and not just relearn who I was, but look back at who I had been and look at who I was in that season that I started my journey of healing and then asking the Lord to guide me into who I was supposed to be. Who had he called me to be as a woman outside of the titles, outside of the roles that I played? Because yes, as we grow and we become moms and wives, we still have an identity outside of all those things, right? We still have our own personal relationship with Christ. We still have our own personal relationships with all the people that we're attached to. And it's easy to lose yourself in all of that. But doing that inner work, doing the work to make sure that who we are manifesting as in the physical actually matches up with who we are spiritually. Because we know that those two things are separate. You have a spiritual body and you have a physical body. And when those things are disconnected because of trauma, because of pain, it can be really difficult to make sound decisions and even listen to God as to what you're supposed to do next, what your purpose is, and to actually understand the value that you bring to the world and how loved you are by God. So I encourage you to take inventory on where you are today and 
Don't spend too much time looking backwards, but look at where you've been and deal with the things that are behind you. Heal so that the triggers don't trigger no more. (laughs) And then you can start to hear and listen what God has for you in the season that you're in and where you're going. And there's a level of peace and joy and comfort that comes with that, that old you and the current you cannot even imagine. If this is something that you're interested in, you want to dive even deeper in, I actually wrote a four-day devotional called Becoming Her, breaking down that girl we built to become the women that God designed. It's a free Bible devotional that I wrote last year, and it really takes you through easy way to start to take inventory on where you've been, where you're at, and where you're going by saying who God says you are, feeling what he feels about you and the things around you, doing what he calls you to do, which is to practice obedience to the Holy Spirit and to be the perfect version of yourself that he created without the taint of sin, without worldly impressions, without toxicity, whoever that version of yourself is. If you say, feel, do what God says to your heart and in his word, you will be everything that he's created you to be. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in my next one.